Hello, I'm Carl Seibert. Thanks for joining me. Have you updated the date in your copyright notice yet? As I record this, we're well into the third week of 2019, and I have to admit that I haven't gotten all of mine done. And if you want to pause the video and go and run and update those dates and come back, that's okay. However, those of us who use Photo Mechanic can avoid this yearly New Year's Day hassle and concentrate on better things like having a hangover or something. We can use variables in Photo Mechanic to set our copyright date. So let's just go ahead and do that. Here we have a photo and I'll open up the IPTC editor. I could also use the stationary pad for this. Either one allows me to work with templates in the same way. And if I was going to put a template on this picture, I would of course go to my snapshots and I would choose a template. And here's our demo Joe photographer template and pop it on the picture. And what do we got here? We have last year's copyright date. So that's not so good. Let's just change that. Let's change that copyright date to a photo mechanic variable. And here we go. We'll do year four enclosed in curly brackets. And that's how a variable is denoted in photo mechanic. And what a variable is, is a string of text that can be replaced by the program for whatever it stands for. So in this case, our curly bracket year four, when we apply the template, will become the four-digit year of the creation of the photo from either the EXIF data or from the file create date itself. So all we now have to do is resave our template and we're good to go. And watch what happens when I apply this. We'll apply it, click, and we'll come back to it. And here we are. The variable has been replaced with the year of creation from the EXIF information, which was 2017 in this particular picture. So what if you don't happen to know the variable off the top of your head? Because who runs around memorizing those things other than people who are doing blog posts about that very subject? If you go in any dialog in Photo Mechanic where variables can be used, there is a variables button. Press the variables button, and then you have a list of all of the variables in Photo Mechanic. And in our case, we're going to scroll down to the section called Time, and we will scroll down alphabetically, and we have some choices about years. We have a four-digit year, basically, and a two-digit year that we can use. And what you can do from the variables list in Photo Mechanic is put your cursor someplace, and I'll put it up here in the caption, and go to the variable that you want and double click on it, and it will be inserted where your cursor was. And we'll just call it year four. And we're doing this in the caption because the type's a little bigger. Now, if we wanted to use the year from today's date as determined by the date and time function of our computer, we have a variable for that too. That is today year. And we have a four digit version and we have a two digit version. And we'll do that. And I'll put a little mark beside it to indicate that indeed it's today years, today year fours variable on that line. Now we can cut and paste these things. We just typed one out by hand earlier. Now there's nothing terribly special about these things. They have to be the correct strings of characters, of course, that Photo Mechanic has defined. And in Photo Mechanic's case, they're delimited by curly brackets. But they're just characters. So we can cut, paste, copy, do whatever. And in fact, down in the description, I'm going to leave a copyright notice line, including the variable, and you should be able to just paste that bad boy right in. But let's see what happens if we apply this one, where I've just put the two different variables. We'll OK the caption, and we'll come back, and there we are. The year four variable, which is based on the creation date, says 2017. The today year four variable, which is based on today's date, 
says 2019. So it's up to you, according to your workflow, which way you want to do it. By the way, once you have applied your template or applied the caption and your variable is converted to type, it's just that. It's just going to be type. It's going to be that four-digit year. It's not connected to anything. There's no magic. It won't change if, for instance, you change the creation date on the picture. Once it's been printed out as text, it's just text, and it's just part of your caption from there on out. And I suppose at this point, let's take a look at the copyright notice itself. Let's get that out of the way just because just it's annoying. According to the Copyright Office, there are three elements in a copyright notice. The first one is either the copyright symbol or the word copyright. The second one is this problematic date that has to increment every year on New Year's Day. And the third one is the copyright holder's name. So that would be our name. So we can probably handle that one. And then I like to, although it's not technically speaking part of the copyright notice, include in my copyright field some sort of contact information. Could be a phone number, could be a URL. It could be almost anything. The reason for the copyright notice in the 21st century is just to communicate, mostly to honest people, but to communicate to everyone that this particular work has a copyright and the copyright belongs to some certain person, the copyright holder. Now, an honest person who looks at this picture, perhaps on Google Images, and wants to use the picture is going to want to get in touch with the copyright holder. So there we go, a phone number or a URL or something like that. And your copyright notice in 2019 is much more important than it was a few months ago because of that very thing. Google Images now supports three copyright-related IPTC fields in their interface. Those are, by the way, the creator field, your byline, the credit field, which takes a little bit of explanation, and most importantly, the copyright field. This is a really good thing for everybody who wants to protect their copyrights and protect their work and or legally and legitimately and honestly use other people's work. Now, what about that? Should we use this year or should we use the year of creation for the date in the copyright business? Well, the Copyright Office has put out a nice circular on how copyright notices work. And I'll put the URL down below in the description. And in it, they tell us that since about March 1st of 1978, copyright notices are actually optional. Prior to that time, if you didn't do a copyright notice, or if you didn't do a copyright notice correctly, or more importantly, if the person who published your image didn't do your copyright notice correctly, you are at peril of losing your copyright. That's not the case anymore. Now the copyright notice just serves to communicate, as I said, that the work is copyrighted and to whom it's copyrighted. And in their circular on copyright notice, the Copyright Office urges copyright holders to put copyright notices on their work for just those same reasons that I stated. However, the pressure is all off of us for getting the form exactly right. So the date can be the year of first publication of the image, or lacking that, it can be the year of creation of the image. Or lacking either of those, it could be the year that the image was first distributed. Now, this was back in the day when this sort of stuff really mattered. Now, it really kind of doesn't. So just by logic and convenience, I go with the date that the image was created, because that's when the copyright was actually created, and leave it at that. This would be a good point to insert the standard disclaimer that says that I am not an attorney and this is not legal advice. And if you have questions, 
about your copyright notice that the Copyright Office's circular didn't answer for you. And I'll also put a link into their article about the term of copyrights. If you have questions in your situation, talk to your attorney. And every photographer, every content creator should have an attorney. That's just a really good idea. So there you have it. An annoying little problem. Wrestled to the ground and subdued by the variables feature in Photo Mechanic. As always, reach out in the comments below or on social media or on the blog and let me know what you would like me to cover in this coming year. While you're doing that, I'll run off and update some copyright dates in places like the footer on my website, which I just realized has last year's date on it. Of course, as always, until next time, mind your metadata.